Welcome back, this is the Amajack, and today we got Gunslinger, Spillway, Suicidal, and, uh... Well, you can follow the pattern, it's a sailing episode. You know, there'll come a time when the, uh... The sailing episodes become less frequent, you know? But right now, it's at the, the peak of my, my attention for it, the peak of my excitement for it. Well, no, the, the, the peak will definitely be when I buy the boat and move on to it. That will be the... The peak of excitement for uh, <laughs> for the whole like boat living thing, but um, that's that's not for a very long time. So probably anyway. I don't know. We'll see. But probably not for like at least a year. Um, doing my research on it. So I um. But yeah, no, no, no. So so like it's just, it's just it's it's an ex it's it's the most exciting time for me right now. There's gonna come a time. When it's like, hey, I set up an appointment or an, a lesson, rather, for you know two months from now. Like, just wait two months. So there isn't really going to be much to talk about. But right now, I'm like researching and talking to people and like learning, and uh, it's really, really exciting um, because I, I really want to live that kind of lifestyle. Just living life and and having that freedom and you know, yeah, it's an enormous amount of work and there's a lot of repairs and maintenance and all this kind of stuff to be done on it as well, but I, um, at the same time, like, I don't know, so I've been talking to a lot of people, and a lot of people are saying, um, that it's, so I, I've, I've been talking to a lot of people, and a lot of people are saying it's, uh, more expensive than living on land, and then a lot of other people are saying I live on a boat, and it costs me like six hundred dollars a month just to have the boat there, and then you know you have to add in your own cell phone fees and internet and uh, whatever other kind of stuff you can want separate from the boat, but just to have the boat and live on it, six hundred bucks a month. And like, there isn't really that much spent on repairs. Anything that happens is generally pretty simple. And um, uh, you know, once a year they they pull it out um, and uh, for for zinc and all that. And, uh, I'm like, okay, I just, I don't really know who to believe, but I'm leaning towards the person who's, like, the, the, the people who are telling me their own experiences and, like, listening to what I'm saying. Because, like, it's a lot of people who are, like, you know, because I'm, I'm asking, you know, hey, how do I get started learning? I don't want to spend a lot of money taking lessons, because I can go and take, you know, like, a $400 lesson from you know, the, the local yachting club, and I can take a, a thousand dollar, you know, like five day sailing trip or whatever, and, um, you know, get some experience. It, it's like, it ends up being like 200, 300 dollars a day that I'm out, you know, out, out at sale minimum, you know? Um, so like, there's gotta be other ways to, to get the experience necessary to be comfortable with owning and living on a boat, um, than with these lessons and stuff, right? Because like, I'm not I'm not comfortable with owning and living on a boat and sailing it around BC with with only a couple like a hundred hours total experience sailing a boat with with a crew you know like it's just it's just not you need more than that and I need I need ways to get that experience that that hands-on experience without spending a ton of money because like if I end up spending thousands and thousands of dollars on lessons that's thousands and thousands of dollars I can't spend on my boat now. Money that I can't keep in savings, money that I can't keep in, you know, um, emergency funds or on food or on mooring fees or like whatever, right? Like it's it's money that's being spent and not being kept, right? So there, there's got to be better ways to do it. So, um, you know, one person was like, I got a Catalina 27, you can buy it for like 25 or 6,500 bucks, 2,500 bucks, I'd probably have said yes. Um, <laughs> to be honest with you, um, even if just to sell it, uh, and it eventually, like, it's low risk at that point, you know, like, buy it, try it, and if it doesn't work, just, just resell it or something, you know, like, it's, 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 it's an easy attempt to, to, to make the lifestyle work, right? Um, and I'm like, yeah, I just, like, I, I need experience, and time on a boat before I can I can actually like make that decision to, to do that right like I don't know what I'm talking about confidently enough to to be like yeah I can do this you know like I'm pretty sure I can other people do it 
I should be able to do it too. Um, but I need I need the experience to be able to say whether or not it's financially viable for me, right? Like I need that experience personally firsthand. And uh, so there's just a, a ton of people being like, yeah, it's, it's much more expensive than you think. Living on a boat isn't this this you know cheap life and. Uh, you know, you're going to end up with all these engine fees and you're going to have to, you know, all spend all this money on repairing your boat and it's going to blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, I just feel like it's not true. You know? Like, I feel like if you just buy a boat that has a fairly new engine that doesn't have a ton of hours on it, and you buy a boat that has, you know, been hauled out and cleaned and all that fairly recently, and you, you buy a boat that's got, you know, new stuff... You're going to spend a little bit more money on the boat, but you're not going to spend as much on uh, on keeping it maintained throughout the next, like, year or whatever, right? Um, like, it's not breaking down every other week, you know? The engine isn't dead every day, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's work to be done, but, like, it's... I, I, people are just way overestimating it, I think. And it's bad, because, like, these people overestimate how much work it is. And, uh... It's not, it's not giving me an accurate representation of what it is, so, so you know, you end up leaning towards people who are giving these first-hand experiences, and it's like, I don't know, are they being totally truthful? They're being more trustworthy than these other people who are, like, feeding you a bunch of advice that you didn't ask for, and, uh, you know, telling you stuff that's just, like, obviously not right, um, because, I don't know, they, they want to, like, dissuade you from making a poor decision, which is fair. But I'm making the decision to live on a boat. It's like that's not living on a boat isn't an option I'm considering, you know, like I'm going to try it. I might not get to it. Right? I might get the experience I need and, and decide I don't want to. I might get the experience I need and decide I can't do it. I don't know, but like not trying is is not something that is, is even being considered. Right? Um anyway, so all all the information I have that seems solid and concrete is that it's pretty cheap um, and uh, affordable that's that's all the information that I have so I'm kind of running off of that and uh, you know it might, it might be naive or whatever um, a lot of people saying that I'm wearing rose tinted glasses and stuff too it's just it's just so frustrating to just like ask people for advice on how to like get started and they're like well you can't just go buy a boat I'm like I know I know I'm literally asking you how do I get started because I don't have a boat and I want to learn so that I can buy a boat they're like don't go buy a boat you're gonna you're gonna die I'm like I just like screw off dude like just read what I'm saying for once in your life like my come on um so all I have is is the people who are like actually responding to my questions and actually paying attention and all of the people who are actually responding to my questions and actually talking about uh, the things I'm talking about and actually not just going off on their own tangents. You know, anybody who's talking to me and answering the questions that I'm asking sincerely, every single one of them are, uh, are saying that it's quite a bit cheaper than uh, anybody who isn't listening to what I'm saying says. So I, th I think that it's affordable. I think it's affordable. I think it's pretty affordable, in fact. And uh, I'm almost I'm almost tempted to just buy a boat and park it in a marina, you know? Because I can afford that. Um, and... Uh, you know, I can get acquainted with, with what's on the boat and stuff, and, um, you know, from the marina, meet other people who are doing stuff, and then you know, never actually move my boat, because I don't know how to do that. Like, I could figure it out, okay? I, like, I could, I could, a sailboat has a, an engine on it, it has a, a you know, a, a little, um, a motor thingy, you know? Pretty low power stuff, like, you're not gonna be speeding along in a, in a sailboat with, uh, with your diesel engine. Um, but like any sailboat is going to have that just because, uh, you know, if you're trying to dock in a marina or something like that, doing that with a sail, doing that by wind power, <laughs> good luck. So you got, you got your, um, 
You got your your motors, your engines for the uh, for the precision movement that you need to do. They're not very powerful. They're not going to move you very quickly, but uh, they're gonna they're gonna move you along anyway. Um, and figuring out how that works, not very hard, right? You have uh, like at the baseline of it all, right? Just like exactly what's happening. You have a normal diesel engine um, sitting at uh, you know back of your boat. Is that the aft or the stern? I don't know. Um, and then you would have a uh, you'd have a, a little motor hanging off the back of your boat, or maybe like I don't know in the keel or, or something. Um, whatever, right? And uh, you would be locked on, and you might be able to turn it, but it probably just goes straight, I'd imagine. And then you'd have a rudder, right? So it's like a big piece of material that uh, like turns to the left and right. And then the water kind of passes over it and pushes the boat like in the direction. So you kind of like turn that way, right? Kind of like how, uh, how planes work, but um, instead of going up and down, you go left to right, kind of, right? Sort of thing, you know? Anyway. Um, so you got the, the rudder, you got the engine, you got the uh, the actual like motor propeller kind of thing. And then you'd have uh, something to control the, the rudder with, either a, a wheel that is connected to it or just a, a tiller, um, which is like a, a stick that's just like directly attached to the rudder. And you turn it and then it moves the rudder because you, you moved the tiller and it's like connected to the rudder. So, uh, And then you just, you know, turn on your, your engine. Typically it'd be like, it's a normal diesel engine, so you might even just have like a key ignition. Like just straight up, put your key in, turn it, the, the, the engine's on, you know? And then uh, somewhere in your in your cockpit, you're gonna have uh, uh, throttle controls. While you're getting started, maybe keep the throttle a little bit lower so you're not um, getting too messed up on it. And then, uh, you know, start getting used to moving around and stuff. And then, uh, yeah, you'll be able to control it. So I, I could figure out how to move a boat, but um, not confidently enough that I'd be able to be like, yeah, let's go off into the water, <laughs> you know what I mean? But I could figure out how to move a boat. It's like, it's not that complicated. Assuming everything's working, then then I could I could move a boat. That's the, I, I, I have 100% confidence that I, I could make a boat move in the direction I want if, I, if you were to put me on a boat right now and, and all of the systems were working. No question. Now, could I control... Uh, you know, the speed very precisely and like not crash into something. No, 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 I'm not, I'm not looking at the radar. I'm not looking at the depth sensor, you know, sonar, you know, no, 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 I can make it move in the direction I want. I can't tell if that's the direction I want it to move in though. You know what I mean? Um, but anyway, so I, I'm almost tempted to just like go buy a boat, park it in a marina and, uh, Kind of see, because like a boat's pretty good at floating, right? Like even if all the systems on the boat are broken, it's pretty good at staying afloat, at the very least, right? Even if you don't have like a sail, you don't have a a motor, you can at least just stay afloat, right? So assuming you know you end up buying a bad boat or something, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing when I buy a boat, and I, I'd be buying a cheaper one. You know, yeah, it would be bad, but it would get me closer to boats, you know what I mean? And then from there, I could uh, have an easier time with joining a club, a co-op, I could have an easier time with meeting other people who'd, who'd be able to give me tips, advice, uh, building relationships, um, you know, doing all that kind of stuff. I'd be closer to that, I'd, I'd be able to do it more readily. It's almost tempting me. Almost, but uh, the main the main thing that's kind of preventing me from doing it, because um, I think it would be a very safe thing to do, as long as I don't actually take the boat out into the water, I'd probably be okay. And as long as I have like you know a life raft and e perp and all that kind of stuff on board, in case you know just everything hits the fan, my boat's just somehow managed to disconnect from the dock and is uh, flying around out in the ocean. I have some way of uh, you know asking for help. Um, you know, the, the basics that you need to have on a boat, right? Um, but, yeah, no, I, it's it's almost tempting. Because you could go buy, like, a $5,000 boat, right? But, uh, if I don't like it, 
and it doesn't work, then that's just five thousand dollars down the drain, and everything that I've, you know, sold or given up to to move on to the boat is is gone. Um, so it's not it's not a very sound strategy, but it's almost tempting to me because it would be cheap. I'd have my own place. I wouldn't have the freedom that I want because I'd be stuck in a marina. I would not be able to leave. It would be insanely irresponsible to leave. Um, but I would... I would be... You know? On a boat. Feeling the waves. Getting used to the, uh, the restrictions of... The space. Meeting people, building relationships, connections, and all the stuff that's that's valuable. Um, so it's 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 in the back of my mind as an idea that I could maybe do. I wouldn't be able to take it anywhere though, you know. I wouldn't. It would be incredibly irresponsible to actually take it anywhere. Now, with that said, you know, at that point in time when I have a, a junky little boat, I could. Uh, you know, have it docked at a marina or something like that, live on it, and, um... Hi! Uh, and, uh... You know, when when I eventually do take some, some sailing lessons, which I'd be able to afford easier because life would be a lot cheaper than it is currently, um... But you know, when I when I eventually take, uh, I wouldn't need boat insurance on that either. <laughs> no point in insuring a boat that cheap. Even if I did get it, it would be like, I, re I reckon if if I went to the boat, and they're like, uh, how often are you selling it? Never. How expensive is your boat? Five thousand um, dollars. Just don't get boat insurance. Okay. Um, is is about how I imagine it would go. <laughs> um, anyway. I don't know. It's it's tempting. It's tempting. But uh, yeah, no. Like I'd be able to take some boating lessons and uh, get used to maneuvering a boat around, and then start applying it on my own boat. Like it's it's a thing that I could do, right? Like it's it's a strategy I could make. Um, I'd be able to afford the lessons a lot easier because I'd already be living on a boat. And um, assuming I buy a boat that doesn't have too much wrong with it. You know, like, if the engine's screwed, that's okay. I can get a new engine. It's expensive, but, like, you know, I can save up for it and get a new engine. That's okay. Um, you know, if there's no solar, I can get solar panels installed. If, if there, you know, I can, I can slowly start building my, my boat up to what I want. As long as the just base of it is, is good, you know? Like, it's, it's going to be probably unreasonable to, like, get the masts and, like, the hull completely redesigned and replaced. And I don't know, maybe the masts is fine, but... Uh, you know, expensive, but again, like, living on that boat would be very cheap. So it, it would be easy to save up for these things. Um, so I don't know. But as long as I buy a boat that, that just, like, at the base of it is is okay to, to fix up. You know, get, get the motor replaced, the propeller replaced, get the engine replaced, solar panels installed, um, new toilets, new plumbing, you know, all this kind of stuff, new electrical. Um, you know, as long as I get a, a boat that isn't just complete garbage from the outset, you know, like, you know, like, like, like the boat is just like, oh no, this body, you're not going to be able to ever take it out to, to sea. You know, no matter what you do to it, this, you're going to have to change the body. You know, as long as it's not something like that where it's just irredeemable, I could live on the boat and fix it up over time. It might take like years, right? Like, yeah, but it could be doable. I'm, I'm going to do an extra, we're going to do an extra one. I just, like whenever I talk about sailing, I just I, I really really just want to keep talking about it. Is really the way it goes. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I'm convincing myself to do that. Maybe I'm convincing myself. Cause I'm just thinking logically, what would go wrong? You know, like if you're living in a marina, and and your boat is like. You know, at the very least, it's seafaring. You may not have conveniences or utilities and stuff like that on board, but it's seafaring. You're, you're okay to be on the water with it. <laughs> it's not going to just sink. 
you know, as long as it passes that minimum bar, uh, you know, there isn't like an infestation on it or just something that's just like, all right, this this boat's just screwed. Um. And it wouldn't be that expensive to live on it outside of the repairs and maintenance and like stuff to get fixed, but like you, I can save up for that. You know what I mean? It'd be easier to save up for that when I'm living so cheaply. So I don't know. And on a marina, I'd also have power, so I'd, I'd really be able to like continue recording, um, like using Discord, reading manga. I'd have internet. You can get Shaw hookups at the marina apparently like it just like just the local telecommunication stuff is just there like i don't know it's uh it would be, like, i recognize it as being stupid okay like don't 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 mistake it i recognize that it's a stupid idea it's it's terribly stupid don't don't misunderstand the reason i i'm tempted to do it isn't because it's a smart idea but, because if it works, then it would be the most affordable idea, and like the most effective idea. If it works. Good chance it doesn't. But if it did, it would be the best way to do it. But, you know, it's a big if, so I don't know if I want to. I think, I don't know, I, I know I want to do it that way. That's that's definitely the way that I, I want to, to make it happen. Just because, it, again, like if it were to work, then it would be the best way to make it work. I'd be living cheaper than I am right now. Um, I'd be living... Um, on a boat. Getting used to the life of living on a boat. I'd have most of the modern day conveniences, like power and electricity and stuff. Well, those are the same thing. Internet, you know, all, all the things that, that I kind of take for granted. It wouldn't be a huge sacrifice. I'd be living in a fairly safe environment on a marina, building relationships and connections, getting used to all the stuff that's on the boat. I'd be owning a boat, so I'd be able to, to slowly, over time, add in the uh, the conveniences and stuff that I need. And um, yeah, kind of kind of go from there, right? Like, so I, I would love to be able to do that. Um, the only issue is that I actually don't know how to tell if the boat is going to be safe to just park it in a marina for a while. I don't know how to tell if this boat's going to need maintenance in the next, like, month that I'm going to have to put out, like, an extra couple thousand dollars for. I don't know how to tell these things. So it's, it's a total gamble, right? I don't know how to do the maintenance myself either right now. So, you know, it'd be a good opportunity to learn if I were to be able to learn it on the job. But if I can't, again, we're out of, like, a lot of money there, so. It's, uh, it's what I want to do. Just, just buy a boat and live on it and, uh, you know, learn how to buy, learn how to sail on, uh, on somebody else's boat with, uh, with experience and all that. And then apply it to my own boat, kind of, like, locally, not even bothering to, like, go very far. Just kind of like locally in good weather. Um, and then uh, slowly get confidence and slowly learn how to do all the things I need to do. Upgrade the boat with everything I need on it. I mean, like, it's possible, right? I, th I think it's possible. It's very, very tempting. It, like, if I if I had friends who were sailors, you know, actually I do. Um, <laughs> I have I have I have a friend in the navy. Um, but if I had friends who I could like talk to for advice on this kind of stuff, um, I'd absolutely hit them up and be like, hey, like this is what I want to do. Like, what 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 do you think? You know. I, just, I, have, I have friends in the Navy and stuff, but uh, nobody that I'm close to enough that I'd be like, hey, you want to, like, spend a bunch of your time, like, helping me out with this? Um, so, I don't know. You know, like, shopping for boats and, and finding one that I'll be able to, like, live on for a while that's not going to have stuff go wrong while it's just sitting in a at a dock. 
they, they don't really have much go wrong when they're sitting at a dock, right? Is the thing. Like, they, they generally speaking, when, when you park a boat at a dock, it's going to float for a while, right? Like, if you ever walk around a marina, the amount of boats that are floating in the water that are just, like, rotting and, like, decrepit and, like, just totally destroyed, but they're still floating. It's like it's 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 a huge number of boats like that. So if you're living on the boat and just like making sure it doesn't do that <laughs> and get to that point, like it's almost certainly not gonna sink in a marina, right? Like like how when when's the last time a boat sank in uh, in the marina? Probably like I don't want to say never, but probably pretty close to never, right? Like in in the marina, like in a you know first world marina, with uh, like we have like I live in like one of the most populated coastal regions like in the world. When's when's the last time <laughs> that a that a boat sank in a marina here? When uh, you know out of like surprise, you know, like just let alone when somebody's living on it. And is able to be like, oh, hey, like, something hit the, the thing, let's get that fixed, or whatever, right? Like, probably super, super safe to, to live on a boat. Even if you don't have experience with sailing a boat, just living on one that is tied to a dock and not going anywhere, probably really, really safe. Maybe not comfortable, but uh, safe. Sure. Even if you have no experience, just just being on it is, is probably safe, right? Is is my guess, and uh, affordable, assuming you have a boat that isn't already you know at the point of destruction. So I don't know. Kind of convinced myself into doing it, but I, I still think it's a stupid idea. I want to do it though. This is the thing. It would be nice, because the the sooner I can get my costs of living down, the sooner I can like buy a, a good boat or upgrade my boat or whatever so I don't know it's tempting for sure but I'll have to see I don't know maybe maybe uh, maybe next week we're talking about buying a boat and living in a marina probably not like I'm I'm, I'm really realistically expecting like a, a couple of years away I just I really want to live on a boat before then is the thing like I really like boats I want to live on one way sooner than then we're gonna do another one I lied we're gonna do I can't not talk about sailing, dude. I just, I just get, I get addicted. This is how I know that like this is something I really want to do. When you've never seen me be so excited about talking about something that I just keep going, right? It's never, it's never, it never happens. That's that's how badly I want to do this. It shows in my YouTube, dude. It shows in the YouTube. Safety's off. Anyway, anyway. I uh, I really want to go sailing. I really want to own my own boat and live on a boat. And you know, the few, few, few people are like, hey, why don't you get an RV, which is like a land yacht. I'm like, I don't know, like, I want to be on the water. Like, my other thing is I want to go fishing and stuff. You can't go fishing in a in an RV. Not the same, anyway. You can't go fishing uh, on a boat if you're just staying in the marina, either, <laughs> for the record. Um, but, you know, it's 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 uh, it's, it's moving towards the, the, the more positive end goal, for sure. I don't know. I uh, I think I might start looking into it though, because I've I've kind of talked myself into it. Honestly, to to buy a cheap boat, like sell my car, sell everything, and go buy a cheap boat and live in the marina, live cheaply, very very cheaply, and uh, you know work on getting the boat to a point where it can be not lived in, but lived on on the sea, you know. Um. And then uh, go do it. It'll be a lot. It'll be a lot easier to afford all of the lessons if I'm already living on a boat. Because uh, you know, assuming it is cheaper, I don't know for like certain, right? Is the thing I don't know. You know, people are telling me that it is. Other people are telling me that it isn't. I don't know. Right? I don't know. I wish I did, but I don't. I'm, I'm operating on like. You know, no information. You know, some people are like, yeah, no, it's like, it's pretty safe. You could just buy it. Like, people are offering to, like, sell me their boats. You know, like, 
you know, you got a liveaboard thing and like just buy the boat, park it in an arena, and, and learn how to sail kind of like on the job. And, um, you know, other people are like, you definitely can't do that because you'll definitely die. And I'm like, probably. But what about just living on a boat in a marina? Just at a dock, long term, not really moving it. Um, worst case scenario, if I get kicked out of the marina or something like that, I can just hire somebody else to help me move it over. And that would be a great opportunity to learn as well. You know? Like, it's not, it's not like, you know, if I get kicked out of the marina, it's like all of a sudden I have to drive the boat and like, no, no, like it's, it's fine. Now the other thing is, is, um, do you have to have a boating license to own a boat or only to move it? I don't know. You don't have to own a, a driving license, a driver's license to own a car, just to drive the car. You can own a car and not have a driver's license. Um, you just can't drive the car without having a driver's license. Is it the same for boats? Could I own the boat without having a boating license? Or, uh, or do you need to have the boating license to own the boat in the first place? I don't know. Probably can own the boat without having to have a boating license. Can you live on a boat without having a boating license? Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Without, without at least one person on board having a boating license anyway. Um... I don't know. I do not know. So I, uh... I'll have to do my research on it. Um... And, and see kind of how viable it is from a, from a financial perspective to, to buy a cheap kind of run down boat that's at least in like the hull is in decent condition and is of a decent size to be able to like you know slowly upgrade it over the next few years as I learn how to properly sail and um, save up the money to make it viable you know slowly kind of make it my own place I don't know you be dead um, I don't know so I'll have to I'll have to do some research on it and see uh, see what it's like I can afford it 100% if the boat maintenance costs are less than like you know I don't know like a hundred bucks a month you know, like like if, if the boat maintenance costs are like a hundred, you know, maybe even one hundred and fifty bucks a month, um, then I could afford it. Um, and that that would give me a pretty decent budget to have uh, like um, upgrades on the boat over time, uh, afford lessons, and um, you know get practice and all this kind of stuff. If the boat maintenance costs per month are gonna be more than that. Just sitting docked in a marina, we we might have some trouble. But I don't know. I, I'm I'm just kind of like thinking like, what's gonna break in a marina? It's definitely not your like sails. Your sails aren't gonna break while you're just sitting docked in a marina, unless something terrible goes wrong because you're you know, you're gonna have them packed up. Um, mast probably gonna be fine. You know, e even if it's super windy out, like. You know, they're designed to be, they're kind of designed to, to have a lot of wind on them, so they should be totally fine as well. Especially when the sails aren't up, they should be totally fine. Um, hull sitting in a marina, probably going to be totally fine. It's pro it's deep enough that uh, you're not going to be bottoming out. Um, you know, you'd have your fenders on, so you're not going to be damaging the side of it. Um... Thinking like, you know, what else is gonna need maintenance? Um, I mean, you're just sitting in a marina. Uh, well, you need cleaning supplies, obviously. Like, you have to keep your boat pretty clean, and, and uh, so you don't get molds and bugs and stuff. But that's you know, you should be keeping your house clean too. Um, that's really all I can think of, and like. That, that, that you'd have to like maintain if it, if it were to be damaged like 
Your motor's not gonna be breaking because you're not using it. Your engine's not gonna be getting used. Um, that might be a problem, honestly, though. Is, uh, is lack of use on the engine may cause issues. You might have to just run it from time to time. Even if you're not, like, throttling the, the motor, the propeller, you know? Just, just run the engine to keep it warm and uh, not let it kind of sit for too long, maybe. Um, it also may not require that. I don't know. But that's that's something you can figure out on the fly. Yeah, I'm just kind of thinking about it, and I'm like, I don't know. Like, if you're just sitting in a marina, what kind of maintenance are you really going to have? If you're sailing around, like, oh yeah. You got to, like, clean your hull. You got to, like, clean off the propellers. You got to... Like, there's, there's lots to do if you're actually sailing around, you know, like... You have to probably, like, sew some sails from time to time. Like, there's going to be a ton to do, right? Like, if you're actually sailing. But if you're just sitting in a marina... Not really much is happening. Not really much is going wrong. Might have to do a haul out, like... You know, every year or two or something like that to, uh... Get the bottom good even if you're just kind of like sitting in a marina but yeah I don't know why couldn't I just buy a boat sitting in a marina I'm gonna have to do some research there's, there's bound to be a reason why it's a bad idea outside of just like it's a bad idea which it is okay but sometimes you're willing to make bad ideas because you really, 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 really want something. Um, so I'm going to have to do some research and see if there's something I'm not thinking about, which there probably is. But, I don't know. Why couldn't I just live in a, in a boat on a marina? You know, all other things, like if I can get a liveaboard slip or whatever, like, you know, just to be able to make it legal. Um, but if I had a, like, why couldn't I? What would be stopping me? You don't have to know how to sail to sit in a marina. Because you're tied up. It's not moving anyway. You don't have to know how to perform much bait, boat maintenance. Because nothing's going to be breaking. And even if it does, as long as it's not something that's keeping you afloat, you're fine. You know, you save up for a while and get it fixed. But like... Yeah. I'll have to I'll have to look more into it. It would be a great way for me to be able to get out of the house that I'm in right now. Because that's one thing that I'm kind of concerned about with um, with this plan. Because um, I'm like, I don't want to keep living here. You know what I mean? Like, I don't want to keep living where I am right now. I want to get out of here. And uh, if I can get out of here onto a boat and then just kind of fix it up over the next few years. I mean... Like, that sounds pretty good, right? There's there's bound to be some, some reason why I shouldn't do that. Absolutely, definitely must be a reason why that's a bad idea. That isn't just like, well, you're giving up a, you know, a whole bunch. You're not going to be able to have as much. You're not going to be able to ha be able to have like a shower as much as you want. You're not going to have as much for like, no, 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 no. Okay? Some kind of practicality, some kind of financial reason, something that's like definitely don't don't do this. It's not viable. Okay, there's got to be something. I don't know what it is. There's got to be something. So I'm gonna have to do my research, my due diligence, and um, figure out what it is before I actually go and commit to anything. But that's gonna do it for today. So thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. If you have stuff to say about Salem, please tell me. If any of you are sailors or anything like that, like help me, because I don't know what I'm doing so much. I know a little bit. And I'm spending, like, all my waking hours researching and, and learning as much as I can. Talking to people, doing what I can. Um, but, you know, help is great, too. So, bye.